Hey, this is Lior from Scope Leads, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your own domain for white labeling our tracking for opens and clicks, replacing links in the emails with your own domain for tracking clicks and opens and things like that instead of using our default domain. And then by doing so, using your own custom tracking domain, you'll be able to take full control of your reputation and the content in your emails. So what you want to do is go to your profile, click on the advanced tab and turn custom tracking domain on. And then what you need to do is create a subdomain, usually with the domain that you're sending the emails with. That's the best uh, for deliverability. And in this example, I'm going to create a subdomain using a CNAME record in Namecheap. So here's a domain I have called SafeSend. And whether you're using GoDaddy or Namecheap or anything like that, you're going to want to search for the DNS editor. So here it's called Advanced DNS, or it could be called DNS Zone Editor. And you want to do it where the domain is being hosted, not where you register the domain, but where it's hosted. In this case, this is being hosted on Namecheap. So I'll click on Advanced DNS. I'll create a new record, CNAME record. And the host is the subdomain name. I'll call it Track. And the target is going to be app.scopeleads.com. I'll click on the check mark. And that is all saved up. And Namecheap adds a little period at the end there. Don't worry about that. So go back to the app now. And now I have my whole domain. It's http track.safesend.pro. And you want to make sure the HTTP is in there so that it replaces it with a proper link. And that this is perfectly. Uh, spelled correctly because if it's not then the links are going to be broken in your emails. I'll click on save and I'll just show you an example of an email that was sent through scope leads now that I have it saved and in the email here's a, just an example with a fake audit screenshot but you see the email has a link in it and if I hover over the link you'll see the bottom left it's now using the tracking domain track.safesend.pro and when I click on it, it'll forward just the same to the page that I set in the email. And if we go to the original message, let me show original, you'll see that the tracking pixel is now using your custom domain that you set. So everything is fully in your control and it's your own reputation. So that's about it for custom domain tracking. If you need any help setting it up, just click on the support icon over here. We'll definitely help you no matter what registrar you're using. And this works with Gmail, this works with your own SMTP. Now one thing you do want to do is make sure to turn off your tracking in whatever SMTP you are using. So by default, usually open tracking and click tracking is on. In Mailgun, for example, if you're using that, you want to make sure to turn them off in the those domain settings now that you're using ours and that's just a way to reduce the amount of tracking that's happening within an email because if you have it on then in the you know in the header and the, the original message you'll see our tracking and then you'll see mailguns tracking and then all the links will really be mailguns tracking and then it'll you know redirect to our tracking so it's just too much going on and that's a red flag for spam so you can feel free to turn that off and just stick with ours and it'll work just as well all right, that's about it for custom domain tracking. Good luck.